What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, welcome to my channel. Thank you for being here. If you haven't subscribed already, make sure you do that so you don't miss out on any of my videos. In today's video, we are basically getting ready and I'm just testing out a bunch of new products that I haven't tested before. So they might not necessarily be new release products or anything like that, but they are new to me. And that's what we're doing today. I will just give you a sneak peek of some of the products that we are trying out for the first time. Today we are trying out the Bomb Nude Beach Palette. I received this from Gen Beauty. We're testing out the Physician's Formula Illuminating Primer from Gen Beauty as well. I got a little itty bitty Jouer foundation that I got from Gen Beauty. Most of these products are from Gen Beauty, okay, I'll just say that. We got a fan brush from Moda that I got. We're testing out the Balm Scuba Mascara. We are trying out this pure, I don't know if it's a liquid highlighter or a liquid eyeshadow, I'm not too sure, but I got it on my lids and we're testing it out. We got this white eyeliner from Sesamoy. We are testing out this Benefit Cosmetics Gold Rush Blush that recently launched I believe and I bought this from Sephora or Ulta I think it was Sephora I don't know we are also testing out the Fenty Beauty set with the gloss bomb and the Hustla baby highlight and I think that's pretty much the gist of the new products that we are trying out this is the look that we created obviously right so if you guys want to see how I created this look and you want to see how all these products worked out for me Make sure you keep on watching. We're getting straight into this tutorial. Let's open up this palette. Comes with this little brush. Maybe we'll use it. Little thing. I don't know. Here is the palette. I'm loving these colors. I love the fact that it has a mirror. I'm using a Morphe brush. Doesn't have a number on it. And I'm dipping into this shade right here, which is called Brilliant. And we're going to get this up by my brow bone real quick. Actually, we're going to put it over basically the entire lid. Then I'm going to dip into the shade below it, Babe, and this is going to go in my brow bone area. I guess we're just going to dip into this pinky purple called Bright. Now we're going to move over to this orange shade called Bodacious. Using the same brush, I'm using a Kylie blender. I forgot to tell you. We start on the lower lash line and work our way up blending. In between steps, I'm taking a bigger fluffer and just blending out all the rough edges. Now we're gonna dip into this brown shade called Bold and we are repeating the same steps. Then I'm going to go back into the orange shade and go over that brown. Now we're just going to go into this purple shade. This is going to stay very close to the lash line. We're moving on to a shimmer for the lid, so now we're going to use this pinky salmon coral type color called Buck. We're going to get this right here on the lid and blend it into the outer corner. I think I'm going to wet the brush with some Fix Plus. I'm actually going to try my finger because I'm not liking how this shade is showing up. So I'm actually moving over to this cranberry shade called Brainiac. Blend it right here. We are blended out. We got our shimmers on the lid. Next product we are using is from Pure. I got it from Gen Beauty, obviously. It's like a liquid highlighter or a liquid eyeshadow. What I'm doing is just getting some on my hand. I'm gonna dip my finger in it and then dip it on my lid on top of the shimmer that I already have there. Hopefully it all turns out and looks really cute. Thank you. 
That like really just got glitter everywhere. Okay, so I am going to finish getting that glitter on this eye. I am going to clean up under my eyes, throw some lashes on, and we'll be back for the next product. We're trying out this new primer from Physicians Formula. It is the Spotlight Primer illuminating primer I should say and I don't know if there's like a bunch of different shades in this but the one that I have is glow I will say I really like the packaging for physicians formula okay so let's get this on okay <laughs> hello uh, hello all right <laughs> I'm gonna actually put it on with my beauty blender oh shoot Let's go in with some more. All right, so we are definitely glowing. Okay. I don't know if it's supposed to blur pores, but girl, <laughs> can see everything. We are using a matte foundation today, so we will see if this glow comes through this matte foundation. So next we're moving on to this little itty bitty little tiny foundation from Jouer. It's high coverage, okay? And then this is the shade Honey Beige. This is the first time I'm opening it up. I'm hoping that this is gonna be the right color for me. Oh, I think it's freaking pretty spot on. You guys, I picked this shade just by looking at their foundation card at Gen Beauty. And I think I did a pretty damn good job, if you ask me. I'm gonna get some on the back of my hand. It's like a very liquidy feeling. It's reminding me of Fenty Beauty. We are going to get it on this side first and then the other side. Oh wow, this is like a perfect shade for me. I am kind of shook. You guys, I am kind of shook at this foundation. It is major full coverage. It seems to be setting pretty freaking well. It's matching my face pretty much perfectly. Here is this side with the foundation, and here is this side with no foundation. Oh, I'm living. Let's get it on the rest of my face. But let's set it and make sure it's still looking like this after I set it. I always set my foundation with a setting spray. I'm using Urban Decay All Nighter. Once it's dried a little bit on the face, I just then go pounce all around and really set that foundation in. I am going to get some concealer on, get some bronzer on, and I'll be right back. Something that I'm noticing about the foundation is that it's definitely setting and creasing a little bit in my freaking lines on my forehead. So I don't like how it's looking super cakey up there. Maybe I use too much foundation, I'm not too sure, but that's the only downside that I see about the foundation right now. Now we're gonna use a new white eyeliner. This is from Ses Moy. It's a thick crown tap thing. So let's get this under my eye. That really made my eyes feel super weird. Ugh, I'm hoping that goes away. If not, my eyes are just gonna turn bloodshot and I really hope that doesn't happen. <laughs> yeah, that definitely did something weird to my eye. I already got some eyeshadow under my eye. I just used the orange bodacious and the purple brave shadows. Now we're gonna try out this scuba mascara from The Bomb. Super cute. Ooh, I like how small it is and the bristles are super small. I'm gonna do my bottom lashes first. That's looking pretty damn good. I'm gonna let the bottom lashes dry before I throw a little mascara in with my lashes. Ooh, okay, so I think we're gonna jump into this highlight in this little set from Fenty Beauty. It's just a little mini, it's Hustla Baby. It has a little protector on the little mini one, that's super cute. I've been really wanting to try this. I have the Trophy Wife, don't really wear it that often because has to be for like a specific look. So I got this fan brush from Gen Beauty as well. So let's just try this. 
I'm not going to wet the brush or anything, we're just going to see how this goes on the cheek. But you know, I think it could be a little bit more blinding. So let's wet it with some Fix Plus. Honestly, I don't see that big of a difference. We're gonna build it up to the intensity that we want. Really liking the color of this highlighter. We're gonna get some blush on real quick. It's not a new product. It's just my MAC Global Glow Mineralized Skin Finish. Just for the apples of my cheeks. You know, I think I, oh fuck. I forgot I was supposed to use this. Ah. Whatever, we're gonna put that on top. So just using my blush brush, we're gonna dip into this. It's so beautiful, you guys. I love the gold in there mixed with the blush. Oh yeah, this is gorgeous. Oh yeah, loving that blush. It does come with this little brush. I do want to put a little bit of the Fenty Beauty highlight on my inner corner just to spice it up a little bit. We are also going to be trying out the Gloss Balm from Fenty Beauty. I've been wanting to try this forever, but I want to put a lip liner on. So we're going to use MAC Strip Down to line my lips real quick. Lips are lined. Oh, look at that. Oh, this smells so good too, like candy. This is gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. I can't believe I waited this long to get this gloss, but I'm living for it. Should we set our face one more time? Why not? This is it, you guys. This is our final look using all kinds of new products. What do you guys think? Let me know down below in the comments. If you have a favorite product of any of the new ones that I use, let me know that as well. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this, get ready with me, make a tutorial testing new product. Make sure you give me a thumbs up, leave me a comment down below, subscribe to my channel, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!